everyone. Welcome to the Walnut Cove Public Library. Today we are going to offer you a tour of our facility and our community center that serves so many people in our area of Stokes County and Forsyth County and Rockingham County too. So please come on in and join us. We'll start our tour now. to our main entranceway. This is our hallway that leads into the library and to our conference room. We'll show you that in just a few minutes. Here in our hallway, we have our beautiful bulletin board that was built by Master Craftsman Bob Koff. We have our magazine and flyer section here below the bulletin board. And then we also have a wonderful stand here for everyone in our community to be able to put all of their information on. And the great thing about it is we have plenty of room for all of our agencies to be able to share their information. And also we have the Stokes County Visitor Center sitting beside of it. So Stokes County is very gracious in providing maps and tourism information for our county. So this is, this is what you will come into when you first enter our library. All right, so we are still in our foyer area, but we're going to move now into our small meeting room. This is a great location for many of our smaller groups and our tutoring people to be able to use. This room is probably utilized the most of any room in this library. It will hold up to 12 people very comfortably. We also have a computer in here with a printer for people who need to do online testing or have a quiet place to be able to work out from the main floor. And we look towards the future this fall and improving our computer literacy lab here and adding new computers and a new printer to this room. Okay, so just a few features that we have here in our small meeting room that we are very proud of. These are two maps of Stokes County and one of the original maps of Walnut Cove. This map was done in 1892. It is the original streets of our town when it was first founded. And then we also have the Stokes County historical map that includes our wagon road that passes right through the center of Walnut Cove on Main Street. And we have a lot of people who use both of these maps for research. We're very happy to have these here and we're very proud to have a lot of our history for our county and our town in these maps. Hello, welcome into our library now. We've left the foyer and have moved into our main library area now. We are going to show you all around our beautiful library here, but we're going to start here with our circulation desk. This is where you will come to check out any of your materials or have any questions you need to answer. This is where you would come to to have those done. This is something we are very proud of that we do for our community. We try and do a monthly or a seasonal display case. This is something that people really enjoy being able to come in and see. And for right now, of course, it's summer, so we are doing our summer and water safety tips along with how to look after your pets in the summertime. So we always enjoy doing these for people. And the great thing about this case too, is we have several people from our community who bring in collections to be able to display here. And we greatly appreciate that because that's something that everyone who comes in really enjoys being able to see. Okay, moving into our library area now, this is our kiosk that we use for a variety of functions. We have our new books here, our new adult fiction, on the back side, we have our new adult nonfiction, biographies, and any large print books that are brand new to us. And then the great thing about the kiosk too, it provides us a place for puzzles. We are now checking out puzzles and they have been very successful this summer. We've had several donated and things
boys are working very well with that and we're looking to expand that section. Now, if you will follow me right here to our half wall, the great thing about our new bookshelves that we've been able to add, we have our staff picks here. And this has been a very popular section because many of our patrons will come in, look and see what we have as our staff picks, and they are very excited to see what we read. And we have so many people too who read a lot of the same genres that we do. So we always have this area fully stocked for people to be able to come in and, and look and see what we're reading when we're at home, so. Next on our tour, I would like to show you our card catalog computer. This computer, a great little Chromebook, which is very lightweight and something that we can carry around the library when we need to, when we have school classes in to be able to look up items. But on this system, it is linked into NC Cardinal, which is our state library consortium. We are able to pull almost 6 million items statewide now. But you can look up anything from books to audiobooks, DVDs, and some magazines are also located on here. Plus, you can also look up puzzles to see what puzzles are located here or in any of our other libraries in our regional system to be able to bring in. So this is a great little tool for us to be able to use and it's great for our patrons to be able to use and they can also access their online Cardinal account here also to be able to place books on hold and as I said, do searches or anything that they need to do within our system. Next, we want to show you a great thing that we have here at Walnut Cove. We are very lucky to be able to have many of our bound Danbury reporters uh, here for people to be able to use to do research on. We have just a few from the 1930s, 40s, and 50s, and then we proceed through the 60s and 70s. Mostly what we have are each year of the 60s, 70s, 80s, and it even goes through the 2000s. Plus, we have all of these Stokes News available as loose copies up through the current year now. So we have so many people who come in and use these as research tools. Uh, a lot of people will bring cameras, smartphones, whatever they need to be able to take pictures of the articles. So this is something we're very grateful to have here in Walnut Cove. All right, next on our tour, I want to show you our public computer section. Right now we have eight desktop computers that are available for public use. We have internet access on all the computers, plus we have the full Microsoft Office suite for anyone to be able to use who needs to type a paper or do an Excel spreadsheet. So we have all this available. Um, we have a very exceptional library board here in Walnut Cove. And we started a campaign, a mailing campaign, a few years ago called Transform Your Library. And what we do is we um, pick what we would like to purchase for the upcoming year, and those are what we use the donated funds for. And one thing I really wanted to point out is our bookcases where we have our staff picks and our cozy mysteries, which we'll talk about those in just a minute. Um, but we really want to bring to the forefront that these bookcases were actually donated in memory of Wayne Richardson. Uh, and his wife, Sharon Richardson, um, was very much so in favor of this. So these bookcases were purchased with those funds that people have donated, and then these cases are actually donated in Wayne's memory. And continuing with our tour, this is actually our favorite section here. This is our children's area. This is a section that's very near and dear to all of our hearts because all of us actually grew up using the children's area here at Walnut Cove Public Library. And we've been able to expand it quite a bit throughout the years with our expansion that occurred several years ago. But I just wanted to quickly show you our sections that we do have. We have a great easy book section. We also have easy readers, which are categorized by levels of pre-level one, two, and three to coincide with the grade levels and the reading levels that our children are reading on. So this is a, a very used section here with our easies and our easy readers. Also, you can see here, we have all of our Battle of the Books. We have both the elementary and middle school Battle of the Books. And the great thing about it is we also provide bookmarks with the year's books listed on those. Uh, so this is just, it's just a wonderful little area to be in. We have so many families who use this part of our children's area. And also, 
in expanding with our children's area, we have our juvenile fiction and our juvenile nonfiction section. These are two areas that are also used by many of our elementary and middle school kids um, and many of our homeschool families. We have some great selections here um, for everyone to be able to find something that they would enjoy to read. And then also, as I said, we have our nonfiction section, which of course is our true books, um, factual books, things of that nature. And then we also have our graphic novel section here too. The great thing about them, we have all of them marked with green tape on the spine, so they are very easy to see. And we also want to show you where we put all of our new books. Um, as soon as they arrive here, our juvenile fiction are on this table here, um, so people can see what's new and coming into the library. And then also I want to show you too our children's computer. It's an AWE computer. It is a digital learning computer that has many educational games for children of all ages on it. Our next section that we want to show to you in our children's area is our small bookcase here that has all of our superhero books, our Star Wars books, and our wrestlers in this section. We have found that having these separated from the easy readers and the juvenile biographies, that they are checked out much more so. This is a great section that children of all ages love to be able to go through, especially those who are huge Star Wars fans and superhero fans. Okay, and leaving our children's area, just a couple other things I want to point out. Um, you'll see our plaques here on our half walls. These bookcases were still part of the Transform Your Library campaign that you see here that have our juvenile fiction zone. And then our Friends of the Library, which is another great group too that we are always working with to improve things here in the library. They actually raised the funds to purchase our bookcases that our easy readers are displayed on. All right, we have moved out of our children's area now and moved to our main library floor. This is one section that is very popular with our adult readers. We call this the cozy mystery section. If you're familiar with Guidepost, most of these books were donated to us by a patron who has a Guidepost account. And we are very grateful that all of these books were donated and we're looking to add some more series because of the popularity of this section. It is a great section if you need just something very simple, a nice story to read, without any violence or anything of that nature. And many of our adult readers thoroughly enjoy reading these series. Okay, next on our tour, I would like to show you, this is our magazine area. This was purchased by our friends of the library. And this has been a great addition because it has all of our magazines which are available for checkout once they are not a current magazine anymore for that month. Um, but it gives us a great area to be able to display those magazines. Next on our tour, the room that is right beside of our reading nook is our study room. This is a great room for individuals who need a quiet place to study or work on their laptops. Or we also, if we have a two to three person group that is meeting, they can use this room to be able to have those short meetings. Also, our tutors use this room too for their tutoring services they provide. And it's just a great room for people to be able to use and work and just have a great space to be able to come and work in. And continuing on with our tour, we've moved past our study room and our reading nook now, and we've moved into our young adult section. This section is for our elementary grades, our high level readers, our middle school readers, and high school. Plus, we have many adults who also enjoy the young adult section. We have a very wide variety of books here from Harry Potter to James Patterson series for young adults. And this is just a great section for all of our readers to be able to use. And also, in this area, we have our sale book section. These are books that are donated to us that we may not be able to add to the collection if we already have a copy of or if they're a little bit older, but we can still use and sell these along with DVDs and audios also. And this money, any of the proceeds that we get of, out of our book sale always goes back into purchasing materials for the library. So it is always a win-win situation for everyone. And then also, beside of our sale book section, we have what is called swap books. 
In our swap book section, it's another popular section. It is made up of all paperbacks of all genres, from romance to mystery. We have Harlequin romance novels. We have Love Inspired in this section. But what you can do with this, these books are not actually checked out. You just come in, pick out as many as you want, and then when you come back the next time, you can either bring those books or new books to replace those. So this works very well for many of our seniors who do not need a lot of heavyweight books to be able to read, or if someone's going on vacation and just needs a lightweight book, say, to carry out to the beach with them. Now we are at the heart of our main library floor. This is the beginning of our adult fiction section. This is our most utilized section by far next to our children's area. We have all genres in our adult fiction. We have everything from mystery, suspense, we have horror novels, we have inspirational novels with a Christian theme to them. Pretty much there is any and everything here, and we have plenty of different authors for people to be able to utilize. We have several people who enjoy one author, and we'll check out that whole series by that author at one time. But we are very proud of this section. We've done a whole lot of work to improve it, to have something in for everyone, because really the theme for libraries is to have something for everyone. Our next stop on the tour is our large print section. It is located directly to the right of our adult fiction section. This is a great set of books for our older adults who may have some vision problems or just someone who would like larger print because some of the things that we can run into with our adult fiction, the print is very small in some of the paperback books. And the large print gives people an opportunity to be able to see things much more clearly. And if anyone has a vision issue and needs large print books, we can always bring those in from other libraries. We can always place those on hold and bring them in, which we do for quite, quite a few of our patrons. Okay, in following our shelving system here at the library, now we have moved on to our adult nonfiction books. There is a wide range of subject matter here. You have medical books, religious books, our technology books are located here. Books on dogs, cats, horses, any type of farm animals are located here. And also this is where our English language section would be along with any other languages we have. And also this section includes a very strong section for our war books, our history books, any of those things which are regularly checked out. Next on our tour, we've moved to our DVD section. One thing I do want to point out, we have two shelves of TV series. We do keep those separate from our other DVDs just to make things a little bit easier to find. We have several series and are also adding more this year to our collection. And then we'll move into our DVDs. We have children's DVDs, adult DVDs, um, movies that are rated anywhere from G to just a few rated R movies. Um, but we have a very wide variety here for all families and individuals to be able to come in and check these out. They are for a seven-day checkout. We do not charge fees anymore for checking out DVDs, which has helped tremendously with the checkout numbers. Uh, the only thing about it is you just have to bring it back after seven days or give us a call and you can check it out for another week. All right, we have now moved into our audiobook section. And one thing I really want to bring to your attention are our playaways. These are just amazing little devices. I'll open one up here and show to you. This is all that it is. Plus, you would have a set of earbuds to be able to listen to this. These are great because they are so lightweight. You can use them while you're working. You can also use them while you're driving. So they're just a great little addition to our library. And we are now working with Playaway once again to order new Playaways for our juvenile fiction section and our adult fiction section. So we're very excited to get those in for people to be able to use. Okay, in addition to our playaways, this is also our audiobook section. These are actually books on CD. We have both adult fiction, we have some no adult nonfiction, and we also have some juvenile fiction mixed in with this section. The great thing about audiobooks, you can listen to them while you're driving. People who have long commutes, to work, or if you're taking a trip by vehicle, all you have to do is just pop this right into your CD player and you can listen to a book while you're driving. One other thing that is great about this section too is people who have vision issues, who have low vision, 
or maybe suffering from blindness, they can always listen to these books. And that is a, a great help to many of our seniors. Also, one other thing I want to mention about the audiobooks, where we do have some of our juvenile fiction books, such as the Rick Rordans, we also have Young Adult with the Harry Potter. This helps our students who are very reluctant readers. They can actually listen to the audiobook while they have the book in their hand and be able to follow along on the pages. And that helps many of our readers to be able to work on their comprehension skills and reading skills. Hello, Miss Dakota. How are you today? Good, very well. This concludes our tour of the Walnut Cove Public Library today, but one thing I wanted to show you before we leave today is you've made your trip around, you've picked out your books, so what do you do with them now? This is where you would come to to be able to check the books out, and Miss Dakota is going to check out my books today. I have picked one of my favorites, The Game of Thrones by George Martin and my favorite book from childhood, Misty of Chincoteague, which by the way, Misty just turned 75 years old this week. So this book has always had a very special place in my heart being a horse lover growing up. So I wanna check it out again today to be able to read it again for probably the millionth time it feels like. <laughs> but I'm going to hand my books to Miss Dakota. She will take those and I have my library card. This is one thing you will need to be able to check out your book. So please make sure you bring your card or you can even take a picture of your card or save it in your phone in the notes. We have a lot of people who do that if you don't want to have to try and keep up with a lot of plastic cards. So I'll hand my card over to Miss Dakota and she will check out my books. Yes, ma'am, it is. If you'll just please let me have a date due slip so I will not be late in returning my books. Thank you very much. All right, this concludes our tour of the Walnut Cove Public Library. Thank you so much for joining us today, and I hope you really enjoyed this video. And please, once we have it posted, please share, 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 so people know about our services here, because we have so many people in our community we are still reaching out to, to be able to utilize the services of our library. So again, thank you, thank you to our Walnut Cove and surrounding communities. Thank you for all of our support that you give to us. We are very appreciative of it. Thank you and have a great day.